Here I am making a router base modification to allow myself to make mortises on large, small and large objects. Just scratching into the base plate using a marking knife. Then I'm going to go and do half inch markings for holes around the whole base plate. After taking off the base plate, I'm going to drill lots and lots of holes. I'm pre-drilling holes in this uh, base plate. It's a fiberglassy type plate. It's kind of uh, fragile, so I'm. It was chipping off, so I pre-drilled before countersinking all the holes for the head of the screws I'm going to be using. As you can see, I've got holes drilled around the whole base, all countersunk, ready to, to be reinstalled on the router and to try it out. I'm installing a fence at approximately the dimension I need from the router bit to the fence. I'm going to double check that here before installing the second screw. I have a fence now that is the dimension I want from the edge of the workpiece. The advantage of all the holes is that I can then move this around at any angle because it's circular cutting. I can move it in any angle to get any dimension I need. After doing this, I install it onto the workpiece and bring the second piece I'm using for the fence up to the edge of the opposite side of the previous fence to create a saddled fence allowing the router to cut in a straight line and without any sort of racking or tipping. You'll see after it's installed that it is self-supporting and doesn't tip over, hopefully making this a lot easier to make my mortises.